I'm up here in uh, Crystal Mountain Resort, beautiful resort area. Uh, basically, they're the um, aquatic invasive species uh, conference going on right now for Michigan uh, Lakes and Streams Association. So there's a lot of people, actually there's people here I met from Indiana, Illinois, Michigan, etc. Uh, basically the conference is how to kind of battle the uh, invasive species, not only uh, animal but plant species, kind of like um, animal species could be like zebra mussels, etc. And uh, becoming a huge issue, a lot of aquatic plants are um, <coughs> allowing, um, doing damage too, so basically uh, the conference is in detail to make sure we could uh, take care of the uh, Michigan and the Great Lakes. But typically what we have here on the left is a 3500 PSI at 8 gallon a minute, uh, 3500 PSI at 4.8 gallon a minute hot water pressure washer. I'll zoom in on that. This is a smaller package. This is actually mounted on a single axle trailer, so it's a portable unit that can go to from uh, boat ramp to boat ramp, different areas. It's going to be good for educational purposes and to be able to clean the boats. And what it is is a decon system, so it's a decant decontamination method. So basically, you're using 3,500 psi at roughly five gallon a minute. High temperature hot water. Uh, normally you want to hit the surface of the boat with 160 degree hot water. So traditionally you set the temperature on the pressure washer to 180. So you need a decent quality hot water pressure washer to do that. This system happens to have a 115 volt diesel fired burner system. You can use diesel or kerosene in there. For the burner at the gas engine. So you have two tanks. One gasoline tank. One uh, diesel fuel tank. On this particular situation, we were able to get an upgraded stainless steel frame on the power washer. It's got the 200 gallon tank. It's got a six stage wastewater re recycling system on here. So we're actually able to vacuum recover the wastewater off the containment mat on the right here. Where the boat is sitting on. Toward the back side, you can't see it that good from here. We actually have a vacuum scupper tool, a 12 inch wide vacuum head. We have our rubberizer, which is a oil water absorber that's EPA approved for landfill. So once it's saturated with fuel and oil, it solidifies and it's allowed to go into a uh, normal landfill situation. So very eco-friendly across the board. Containment mat is a drive-on, drive-off mat. You don't have to put up booms or anything around there or PVC piping. Heavy grade, there's actually a felt liner below it to help it from tearing on gravel. And uh, like I said, the vacuum line on this particular trailer, we actually have the ability to uh, vacuum wastewater up to 100 feet away from the trailer. It comes with 50 foot of vacuum hose, vacuum scupper tool, a couple water dams, and berms. So it comes pretty well complete. The quit. Uh, Aquatic Evasive Species Package also has a, a trailer and bottom haul cleaner. Uh, we'll be demonstrating that later. Uh, has a bunch of attachments for flushing out inboard and outboard engines with the high temperature hot water. This actually is a special pressure washer. It is kind of customized. It will actually run at low pressure, high heat. So when you put the flush out attachment, normally a low pressure the burners are designed to shut off so it doesn't run at low temperature or low pressure. So this system has special controls on it to be able to do that. So it is not your typical power washer that you would buy at some um, facility. So the best thing to do is contact us, Dan Sweet at Hydrochem Systems or our company at Hydrochem Systems. Our phone number, and I'll walk through the trailer after this. The phone number is 1-800-666-1992.
website is hydrochemsystems.com. It's hydrochemsystems.com. All one word in sales at hcsclean.com. So I'll give you a quick walk around. Take you by the boat. Show you the wash pad here. So this mat is a uh, 25 foot long by 12 foot wide drive on containment mat with a liner. Uh, we have the hydrocarbon absorber there. We also have a blend that can also filter out phosphate. So anybody looking to reduce uh, phosphates, we even do storm drain systems that can handle that. Uh, all the water will pull up on the low, low side here. The vacuum hose and scupper tool will pick up the wastewater. Basically, we'll bring it back to the trailer. And we have various different trailer options. This is our smallest option um, and most maneuverable. So the vacuum waste water goes up into the vacuum assembly here after you've been hot water pressure cleaning the boat with 180 degrees, 160 to 180 degree water. Once again, you want to hit the boat at 160 degree temperature. It's inside the first stage of the recycling system of that hydrocarbon absorber. Then a vacuum up through here with the lid here, easy to remove. This is where you're going to collect a lot of the heavy solid, the zebra mussels, etc. That'll be caught in that. It's easy to clean and manage. No tools needed. Uh, you got a cone shaped solid separation tank. So the solid separation tank. We'll allow all the heavy sediment to settle on the bottom to the side drain here of you to drain your uh, heavier sand or material zebra mussels that get through there on the bottom. You want to kind of take care of that and have an empty five gallon bucket. Manage that. Then there's a transfer pump here that's up and mounted about here but on the back side. So it's going to suck water from above here. Anything below gets trapped, so you could that'll be the heavier solids. It'll pump through the pump up into a 50 micron string filter. Then it goes to a 20 micron string filter. Pumps through the transfer pump is forced in the wastewater back to the tank and inside the tank here we have a five micron large capacity bag filter that will catch everything down to five micron and then the water can be reused over again. We also have them with split tank models that have a uh, supply tank and then the back side here would be a recovery tank that you can keep separate so you keep all your fresh water fresh, all your wastewater wastewater. We have them with two 200 gallon tanks, two 270 gallon tanks, and we can also put them together with two 535 gallon tanks if you like. So any kind of build that you would look for, we can even do it on a flatbed truck or box truck. And uh, other than that, put down the easy clamps. Then your hot water pressure washer, since we're up in Michigan, this has a winterizing tank. With an con easy control valve here, when you want to winterize it, you put the valve on and draws from the winterizing tank. It only takes about a minute or two to winterize it. Gets everything through the heating coil, the pump, the hose, etc. Protects the pump from overheating. We have the stainless steel frame upgrade. We have the extra controls for uh, low pressure, high heat. Uh, this trailer actually has chrome rims, uh, an extra inlet filter between the tank and the pump to protect the pump. This has a cool bypass system. So if people that aren't that familiar with running the pressure washer, when you shut the gun off with the machine running, the pump can overheat over a period of time of four or five minutes. So by having what we call a cool bypass or a line that allows that water is still circulate back to the tank and uh, while the pump's running you never hit that uh, 
heat a bypass does not affect it. Um, you got water in the tank, you're good to go. Um, this is kind of engine side here. So on this particular unit, we got a big twin cylinder, 18 horsepower engine, electric start, belt drive pump, 2900 watt onboard generator to power the recycling unit and the burner system, the diesel fire burner. And I'll put this here. And this is kind of what you'll see on sites that really are trying to manage the zebra mussels and all the other aquatic species problems. So when you see this, you know you need to have your boat cleaned and managed. They're trying to eliminate cross contamination from one water body to the next water body. I'll let you zoom in here and see this. More information contact uh, Dan Sweet at Hydrochem Systems. Also, Jane at the Benvy Conservation Group. She's very proactive with this. This trailer was actually part of a grant from the Department of Natural Resources here. So, there's grant money and free trailer, decon trailers and hot water pressure cleaning systems. Probably a good idea to get on board with that. So, for more information, uh, give us a call. This off a little sign down here actually gives you a little more idea of the areas to hit. Okay, so for more details, uh, give us a call. Um, also, here are some of the accessories that we include in our decon package. We have a uh, Either to reach a uh, boat haul cleaner and trailer cleaner that gets up and under the vessel without you having to climb on under. We have addition adapters. We got the inboard engine flush out kit. We got a wand with a flexible rubber and on here. So if you want to get into the village ports and different areas, you can get up and around. It allow the high temperature, hot water, low pressure to run through. Got other outboard engine flush kits. This all connects to the gun with a discharge hose under low pressure to be able to clean and flush everything out. For more information, contact us 1 800 666 1992 sales at hcsclean.com. Sales at hcsclean.com. And you can go to hydrochemsystems.com. I'll bring that over here to see it. Thank you for watching the video. More information, give us a call.